Today we're visiting with longtime Lion member, in fact, over 60 years, John Byers. And John, we'll start out with, when did you join the Lions Club? 1953. I was only two years old. Uh, <laughs> why did you decide to join Lions? Well, I had a friend that was a Lions Club member, Jim Goff, who passed away a couple of years ago. And uh, he got me to join the Lions. And he was the secretary at the time. And then shortly after that, he got me elected as secretary so that he'd get out of the job. <laughs> <laughs> and all he had was a notebook with individual pages for the members and a file cabinet. And it wouldn't stand up by itself, and you had to put it in a corner to, so it would stay upright. I knew Jim. That sounds a little bit like Jim. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite fun? What was your favorite fundraising activity over the years? And that could be something that we don't do anymore. Well, for fundraising, well, I enjoyed the broom sales, and we sold a lot of them, and uh, and it was well accepted in the community, and uh, and that was the biggest one. Most things we did were profit motivated, like uh, putting on a swim meet, and we hoped to make something out of it, whether we did or not. Mm -hmm. um, but the broom sale was your, your favorite. Yeah, but, yeah. And your favorite community project? Maybe not a fundraiser, yeah. but just favorite community project? Probably Thompson Park. Okay. And we will ask you later about a little history there because it fits into our other subject. Okay. Um, why would you encourage others to join the Lions Club? Well, it gives you an opportunity for some fun and enjoyment and comradeship. But most of all, it gives you the opportunity to doing something for your community. And uh, and I thought we, the Lions Club has done a good job of that over the years. Good. What is your favorite? Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, what is your favorite Lions memory? Oh, I, that's a hard one to answer. Because I went to a couple of conventions and those were kind of memorable. <laughs> <laughs> Can they be repeated? <laughs> well, probably not. You—you <laughs> <laughs> uh, you were involved when Ted Walker. Oh, yeah. involved. Um, and I'm sure you might have a, one or two stories about Ted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, maybe not for public consumption. But <laughs> no. Ted was, Ted was a good worker. And I guess when I joined the club, I've been at conventions before. And uh, apparently they had one at Klamath Falls. And they had a parade and they'd throw pennies out to kids along the street. Ted went in the bank with his starter's gun and laid it on the counter and put out a dollar bill and said, I'd like to have two rolls of pennies. <laughs> and afterwards he thought that might be a little inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't think of that ahead of time. No. <laughs> uh, what local lion, past or present, do you think deserves special historical recognition and why? Oh, there's been so many of them that I couldn't pick out one. Because generally every president has been dedicated in his own way and uh, really put in legitimate efforts to uh, do a good job. And they should all be admired because it's time consuming. Uh, well, as is president, or as is treasurer, which you only did for 25 years or so. <laughs> well, I worked a lot on that, of course, you know. Yeah. How would you like to be remembered as a lion? Oh, I would just like to be remembered as a lion. I, it kind of goes a long ways. I coached the Lions Little League team, I think, for 23 years. And I was kind of proud of that and uh, tried to represent the club as well as I could, as well as 
and join me. Coaching. But that's, you know, pretty hard to define. I like to be remembered. I guess I'll take what I get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any advice for young people who are considering a future in, in either Leo's or Lions? Well, yeah. If they want to be a part of the community and contribute to it, I've always felt that uh, right from my own position, I've lived here all my life and made my living and raised my family as part of the community. And, and uh, so you've got to give something back because I feel like I've gotten an awful lot out of it. And uh, it just gives you that chance. Okay. Well, I think we're going to switch gears now to 